There is a joy in this type of looking also. The joy that comes because your, your space is recovered. Some concepts are filling up your space, they create a kind of noise, and we're walking around with this noise. But as you're clear again about what you are not, this noise is not there, it's gone. You feel like space, moving in space. Unburdened and unburdenable. Do you know that you can be aware of yourself completely concept free? You're not carrying any residential concepts. Like space. Not too much spaced out. But being totally present. Effortless presence. Not trying to be present. Effortless presence. That's what is already here. You don't have to do any exercise for that. This is why it's called natural. What's natural means that you don't need to attain it. It's there. It's unsupported. It's by itself. What is that in you? Where is that in you? That can be called this, that which is already effortless by nature. It's effortless. Who is to get there? It's just there's a thought about who I am trying to get to that. It's just a thought. But it is a very deeply believed thought. But I can't be that. And something, of course, will reject what I speak immediately. We have learned to doubt ourselves. No single person is responsible for this. We are simply distracted by the fascination for our mind and the self construction that is formed in the mind, that is believed by us. And this is the kind of introspection that takes place inside you, what you are calling inquiry. It goes like this, something looks. And it's not just mental. It's like it's, it's sweeping as it goes. It's, it's clarifying, you see. Where do you come to? Where do you come to through this looking? Back to a sort of space again. A natural silence that's there. So much so that if you put, if you put in front of yourself now any concept, they will not intimidate you. No, no concept can stand by themselves. They must report to you. It's you who is affected by them. You give them life. No concept is self-employed. You give them life with your attention. Your belief energizes and gives life to what you believe in. What you believe in becomes your experience. There is something about understanding this, being clear about it. It's the most natural thing. Sometimes, with uh, this type of looking, which I, I feel to be very simple, actually. 
but it will take a bit of practice because we are not accustomed to looking like this. Usually all our looking is going outwardly towards contacting objects or some by objects I mean even your ideas about life I call a kind of object. But to contemplate this subject, something is terribly lazy to do this. But only for a bit. If one persists, then a tremendous space opens up for you again. Unconquerable space. You see? Thank you. Thank you.